to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. I feel like this one is going to be very special and very exciting. I'm currently 38 weeks pregnant, so I'm pretty sure that this is going to be my last vlog of just Mo and I by ourselves before we become parents and I thought it would be fun to just document these last few days, weeks, we don't know, <laughs> but baby girl could literally come now at any moment. So I thought it would be fun to just film like the last minute things. We have to put the car seat in and build her co-sleeping bed that I'm gonna have in the bedroom on my side of the bed. We got a really great swing as well that I wanna take out of the box and just put it I think here in the living room and some last minute like baby prep things. So exciting, I can't believe this is like the last vlog before we officially become parents and our lives are gonna change forever. So this is gonna be really special to look back on. Okay, we are in baby girl's nursery and this is one of the things I wanna do today. So this is her swing. This is called the Mamaru and it's one of the most highly rated swings for babies. And it's been sitting here for a few weeks so I'm very excited to finally unpack it and see it. Okay, that is so cool. So you can control it from your phone. I just downloaded the app. So there are different motions to choose from. So right now it's on the car ride, which looks like this. Actually looks so soothing. <laughs> and you can even control the speed. How fun is that? So yeah, these are a few of the other motions that it does. Tree swing, rockabye. That's so cool. And then here are sounds. So a range of different like white noise sounds. And again, you can also control the level. Oh, and you can even put your own music. That's so cool. Yay, I'm so happy that that is now up. I think I'm gonna leave it here in the nursery for now. And then when she's actually here, we'll put it out in the living room <laughs> but this is so cute we also have this swing by nuna which is also very highly rated but this is a little different so this is not electric so you have to touch this one and then it swings really nicely but it eventually stops so this one we thought would be good like to keep playing and to keep going and then we could put this in a different room depending on where we are with the baby but it does swing very nicely it's just that you have to keep I'm um, pushing it. Okay, now we're on to the co-sleeping bed. Also something that is so exciting, which kind of feels like we're giving birth to as well, is our new moisturizer. And by the time you guys see this video, it is finally going to be live on our site. We've been working so hard on this for the last few months and we're so happy that it's finally available. I've talked a little bit about it in some of my previous videos because it's genuinely something I use every single day. So this is our Calm and Hydrate Oil-Free Moisturizer and this is such a dream 
dream product for me to have created. I feel like good, clean, non-irritating moisturizers are so difficult to find, especially if you have sensitive and acne-prone skin. It's something that you apply and you leave on your skin for the whole day or for the whole evening. And it's so important that it not only feels really good on your skin so it feels breathable and lightweight, but also that the ingredients are actually good for your skin. So this is literally my dream come true when it comes to moisturizers. It is breathable, lightweight, oil-free, silicone-free, fragrance-free, but it is packed with nourishing ingredients. It has five types of hyaluronic acid, which makes it super hydrating and moisturizing on the skin. For those of you who don't know, hyaluronic acid is a molecule that can hold up to 1,000 times its weight in water and hydration. So it attracts hydration from the surrounding air and locks it onto your skin. It's also got niacinamide, which is very hydrating, plus it's nice and soothing and calming on the skin as well. It's got chamomile, green tea, vitamin E as well, which is super nourishing for the skin and a great antioxidant. So ingredient wise, this is amazing. And it's also a clean formula. So again, it doesn't have any fragrances or silicones, no irritating ingredients that could potentially break you out. So if you've got acne prone or sensitive skin, this is amazing. And one of my favorite things apart from the ingredients is the texture. So it's super lightweight. And when you believe blend it into your skin it almost feels like a like a serum it's very very lightweight but again because of those five different kinds of hyaluronic acid it's so hydrating along with the niacinamide as well but what i wanted to create is something that you could easily layer with your favorite serums and with your favorite spfs because with some of the moisturizers i was using before i felt like they did work but they were just too heavy and too thick on my skin but this works really great so you can apply your favorite serum you apply the moisturizer on top and then you can follow up with your favorite SPF and your skin still feels like it can breathe it has a really lightweight texture it's super comfortable to wear under makeup as well plus the finish and the texture that it leaves your skin with is so beautiful it's like a glass kind of glossy dewy finish it's so beautiful it works great for daytime I personally use it both in my morning skincare routine and also in my evening skincare routine it's a really versatile product that is high quality clean ingredients beautiful texture I'm so so proud of this moisturizer and I cannot wait for you guys to try it also something that I think is important to point out is the packaging so this is a glass bottle which of course makes it feel really nice and luxurious but it is also recyclable you could just remove this pump bit and you could recycle the glass component but what I think is really really cool is the fact that it's in a pump and that is so important for me you guys know I'm like a clean freak my skin is already sensitive it's already acne prone I don't like to stick my fingers in a jar and introduce more germs or contaminants into the product plus it also keeps the ingredients a lot more fresh and active when it is in a closed component so it was really important for us to find a good pump and I love how it came out it feels so good to use and also as with all of our products we infuse them with real crystals so real healing crystals and the crystal which is in this one is clear quartz. Clear quartz is also known as the master healer of crystals. It's known to help balance and restore your energetic and nervous system and it's also an amplifier so it can help to bring more positive energy into your life, into your skin and I thought that was really beautiful for a product that is going to stay on your face for many hours. So you've got the good active ingredients, you've got the crystals working for your skin and just generally it feels amazing amazing when you apply it when you wear it i'm a very proud mama of this product yeah i'm very excited for you guys to try it i will have a link for it down below in the description box we ship pretty much worldwide so this is available to almost everyone so yeah if you guys want to check it out i will have a link for it down below in the description box Okay, another thing I want to do is sterilize my breast pump. I got this one from Medela. It's the Swing Maxi Flex. I read really good things about this one. It is an electric one and you can do both boobs at the same time. And then I also want to sterilize these bottles. I got these ones from Event. And to go with that, I also got the bottle warmer, which does not have to be sterilized, but I just kept these all in the same place and I thought I would show you guys everything I got for 
pumping. And then the sterilizer that I got is from Philips Event as well. I also heard really good things about this one. I like that it's so big, like it fits a lot of things. And then I also got the drying rack to go with it. And I used this once already for her pacifiers, which I've already sterilized. And I like that they're two like layers, so you can put smaller things on top and then your bigger bottles and pieces here on the bottom. So it's very convenient. And I do plan on breastfeeding most of the time, but I wanted to get a pump for my extra supply so I could put some in the freezer and then Mo or someone else could also feed her by putting the breast milk in a bottle, warming it up, and that way in case I can't feed her, then we always have a backup option. <laughs> It is a new day. It's actually been a couple of days since I last filmed. I've been feeling all the feels the last few days. Let's just put it that way. I think it's definitely related to everything that's going on right now, like in my body, hormonally, just this big life change that's going to happen and the fact that it could literally happen like at any moment. <laughs> that is, I think, what's the craziest thing is that you can't really plan. I usually know what's going on and we can plan and be organized, but with something like this, it's just so spontaneous. But yeah, just been feeling like extra emotional about everything, like the good, the bad, and just like everything in between. I feel like I just feel everything so much more. And also the fact that this chapter of being pregnant is coming to, I don't want to say coming to an end, but it's like coming to fruition, like the fruit of the labor is coming. And I really loved being pregnant. Obviously there have been some moments and days where it's like a little bit scary and you know, there's a lot of changes going on in your body and all of that, but just generally speaking, I've loved this experience and I'm definitely gonna miss it. Like I'm gonna miss having her so close to me. I'm gonna miss, you know, like having her with me, but still being able to do whatever it is I need to do during the day. But I also don't want to be like holding on to certain parts of my life. Like I wanna experience everything when it's there and be fully present and not be like longing for something. And I'm sure also, you know, when they're such tiny babies, like you want them to be so tiny and cute and small forever, but obviously like they grow and that's a beautiful thing. But I'm, yeah, like I'm very conscious about not wanting to hold on to things just because I've really enjoyed them, like I'm really grateful for them and I wanna fully absorb it, but I'm also very excited to welcome the next thing, like the next chapter. And that's something that I would love to have with me throughout like all of my life with all of the experiences and not feel like I need to freeze time, you know? But yeah, just feeling very grateful and ready also for the next things that are to come. Anyway, I am now in the nursery and I have a few more um, baby presents things that I want to do. Maybe you guys see this picture. I actually put this up yesterday. So this is from our maternity shoot. It's one of my favorites of Mo and I and I love it because it looks like kind of a heart <laughs> with the, the belly as well. And I had this frame in here before and actually think it looks pretty nice. So I just changed up the picture and I also got a few others printed that I want to put up in here. 
If you guys didn't see my last vlog, I actually filmed some behind the scenes of our maternity shoot and also show some of the pictures as well. So if you guys have not seen that video, I will have it linked down below. It's a really cute one. And I'm thinking of putting two more framed pictures here. This carpet is obviously gonna go on the floor eventually. So I have the photos printed, but not the frames. I think they might even come in today. So maybe we'll do that together as well. So I'm gonna prepare her diaper changing area now. Got this really cute little basket from Zara Home that I'm gonna put the diapers in and also her cream. And then this is a wipes warmer. I probably actually do this when we get home so they stay like nice and moist. And then these are the diapers that we chose from Pampers. They're the Harmony brand, but I'm pretty sure in the US they're called Pure, Pampers Pure. These are a little bit more cleaner, more gentle. I don't think they have like any fragrances or anything like that in them. Okay, I just set up the little lounger. This is from Snuggle Me Organic. It's very similar to the Docatot. So this is something you can kind of take around your home and the baby can relax in there. It's not meant for sleeping. It's not meant for a crib. I'm just keeping it in here for now and these little stuffed toys and pillows and stuff will also go if she does actually sleep in here because you're supposed to have a completely free and clean crib but again i just set it up so i'm gonna keep it in here for now and it's so so nice and soft and cozy i think she's really gonna love this about to relax thought it would be nice to just chat a little bit about this experience and what's to come super excited to meet this little one the only things that are going through my mind right now is like how is it gonna be the mind is like working all the time and you're like thinking about different situations how would this be what would you do if this happened how do you feel about it like how do you feel about this last chapter now well I'm obviously very excited but it's also something that i feel like i don't want to say i've been preparing for but i've been conscious of that i've wanted for many 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 years i mean since i was little i've known that i want to be a mother one day it's a huge goal in my life something that i deeply respect and cherish and have been looking forward to so now that it's actually happening it's so so special and i want to just soak up every every minute of it the feeling that it could be any moment like gives me a little bit of anxiety the moment you she gets in labor i, I don't want to think about <laughs> what it what do you mean you don't <laughs> want to think about no, it no i need you on that i'm gonna day. be there i'm gonna be like a strong rock next to you i'm gonna hold your hand tell you nice things give you lots of Positive, positive affirmations. affirmations. Yeah, it's also been kind of a crazy time the last few weeks because as you guys know, we've launched our moisturizer now, which is live. We're almost done with everything. Like we're 99% done. Yeah, so but we've when they see lot. the video, they're gonna yeah. be able to. So you guys yeah. can go down, shop it. What I love seeing when you send us your selfies, it's just 
such a good feeling like whenever I see like somebody with our product on their on in their hands or even on their faces it gives me so much joy and I really appreciate mm -hmm. that and reviews like for me I think reviews are even read all of them by the way so we have super super meaningful for yeah me. that's something that we really enjoy the reviews and the selfies that come in, your response, what do you think about the product? Do check out our Instagram as well. I always have it linked down below in the description box. But if you're not following us there yet, it's a great place for us to communicate with one another. We write a lot with our customers there. And of course, we post a lot of great content, a lot of informational content as well that we hope really help you with your skin. It's not just like aesthetic like we like the aesthetic but we are also very much about like actually helping people so yeah. definitely check us out it was nice Good to nice. have you on my channel i hope to see you guys very very soon Good morning guys, it is a new day. I am currently in the car. I'm about to head to what I think will be my last doctor's appointment. I'm currently 39 weeks and a few days. So I'm very excited to see like what's going on in there, down there. <laughs> if I'm already dilated at all or if she can tell me, you know, any kind of information that is related to birth. But yeah, it is also officially August right now, which is her birth month. So that's really exciting to know that literally it's going to happen this month. And I'm just so curious about the whole process of labor and birth and how it's going to feel, how my body is going to react, like how my, like both physically and mentally, because I know it's such a mental thing as well. And I'm just so curious and excited to find out like what it's all about and I of course will report back and share with you guys like we'll do a sit down eventually at some point and I'll share like how it was but I already have so many questions for myself that I'm just excited to to see like I know it's not going to be a walk in the park I know it's not probably the most pleasurable thing but I'm generally so interested in the body and in health and in wellness and like the mind-body connection so I think that definitely like propels my curiosity about what's about to go down <laughs> so I'm going to head to my appointment I also wanted to mention quickly a few of you were asking about my nails you noticed that I don't have any um, like gel or acrylic or like regular nail polish on and I'm still doing the treatment I have a few different ones that I rotate between I've tried ones from Orly from Essie and it just leaves like a nice little pink gloss and sheen on your nails and I'm doing this number one because my nails just needed a break from the gels and the acrylics and all of that like it's very um, damaging long term for your nails and I do love how it looks but I also know that I need to have a balance with it and secondly going to do your nails um, with this kind of nail polish like with gel and with acrylic it's it's a lot of maintenance in the sense that you can't do it at home and I don't know how it's gonna be when baby girl gets here if I'm gonna be able to just like go get my nails done every two weeks so this is just a lot more low maintenance for me and it's quicker so if I can go and get a manicure I'll just do like a simple manicure and then I can touch up the nail treatment like the glossy top coat at home or I could even just do my nails by myself at home but I'm really loving it I'm embracing my natural nails and just the fact that it's so much more low maintenance but I still like to keep them nice and clean and fresh and you know good looking also on that note I have tried to squeeze in like some last minute beauty appointments and treatments I got my brows done the other day I did a little facial a hydrofacial which you guys probably know are my favorite ones I've showed those in a few of my other vlogs and videos so I did one of those oh yeah a pedicure as well I've gotten that done which feels really nice and that will last me like a month or so what else I think that's it oh and also uh, prenatal massages as well which I did film um, when I went was it like two days ago that's always a really nice self-care thing as well so but anyway it does feel good to like take time to pamper myself and take care of myself and just take my time doing those kinds of things because obviously when the baby gets here that's probably not something i'm gonna have time for in the first few weeks and months and so that's that i'm going to head to my appointment now
okay i am back in the car it's crazy hot by the way it's almost 34 degrees it says 33.5 degrees on my dashboard which is insane anyway the appointment went well so baby girl is very low down i was telling my doctor that it feels like i've been sitting on a bike for way too long you know that soreness like in your groin area like that's how i've been feeling for the last yeah, I would say like day or so. And it turns out that that is actually the pressure of the baby's head in my pelvis, which is pressing down really heavily. So that's a great sign that labor is close. Also, the top part of my cervix has started to dilate, but not the bottom part. But the space is very short. I think usually it's around like three or four centimeters and mine is only one point, I think she said, eight centimeters or something right now that is also from the pressure of the baby's head and also later when I saw my midwife she told me that my uterus is descending so that's also a very good sign that labor is close and something else that I thought was so fascinating is I was actually reading about this the other day so one of the factors that prompts labor to happen is when the placenta can no longer sustain the demands and the growth and the nutrient needs of the baby and that's one of the things that can trigger labor there's obviously lots of other things like the readiness of the baby the readiness of the cervix and all of that she showed me my placenta on the screen and she told me that it's already started to prepare for its exit or for its completion you could say and that's another sign that then labor is close. I thought that was really interesting as well and I'm actually so curious to look at my placenta like I want to see what it looks like. I mean what an incredible organ right if you think about that it has helped sustain this new life and it's literally an organ like a complete organ. Also about two nights ago I actually woke up at around four in the morning from like period like kind of I, yeah, I guess it is contractions, but it really felt like period pains, like mild, but strong enough to wake me up and to keep me awake. And that went on for from like four in the morning until 5.30 when I got up out of bed because I just like I couldn't lay there anymore. And I was thinking like, oh my gosh, is this is it happening and then as soon as I got up went to the bathroom brushed my teeth and all of that the contractions had stopped so I think that was like a practice kind of run and maybe that's also what allowed the baby to descend so low into my pelvis as well so yeah let's see what happens and um, yeah I'll check in with you guys a little bit later I've been having like on and off contractions all day. So now they are between five to six minutes and my seven minutes. So my six okay, minutes. Okay, is this the first stop? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. The next one. We're getting ready. We're, getting ready. We're in the car. So well, to the clinic. Yum 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 yum. Super. Oh, there's a baby. <laughs> 